Today, Vice President Mike Pence became one of the more than 62,000 people in Marion County who have turned in their absentee ballot. The VP and Second Lady dropped theirs off in person at the City County Building in Indianapolis this morning. Our Kayla Sullivan was there. Vice President Mike Pence's visit to Indianapolis wasn't very long, but the Marion County Clerk's Office wanted to make sure it didn't delay early voters here, so they got a little creative. Still, some people were not happy the vice president took the time to come here today. Oh yeah, I made this. Dressed as the fly that landed on Vice President Mike Pence's head during the VP debate. That's what I'm here for. Lori Perdue wanted people to know she didn't support Pence's visit. He didn't have to do that. He could have put a first class stamp on that absentee ballot and saved everyone millions of dollars in security. We weren't able to confirm how much money was spent on the VP's opportunity to drop off his ballot in person. However, we did find out whether it delayed other early voters. The line halted, but we did have voters in the room voting, so there was not a, a stoppage to voting. The vice president wasn't here more than a few minutes, and he didn't say much. Great honor, and great to be back home again. Indiana GOP Chairman Kyle Hupfer sent a statement welcoming the VP and says he hopes voters take his lead. We encourage everybody to have a plan to vote as well. Marion County Clerk's Office Deputy Director Russell Hollis says he's proud of the accommodations offered to voters during the visit, noting Secret Service could have shut down the building longer for safety reasons. That definitely would have been easier for them, but our goal is to make sure that voting is not interrupted, and so that was one thing that we insisted. Now, early voting will continue until Election Day, and starting tomorrow, there will be satellite locations opening in Indianapolis, and you can look up wait times online. We'll have that information available on our website. Reporting from the City County Building, I'm Kayla Sullivan.